How did your date go? I'm done with men. I she don't want to do this. I'm so done with men. They're disgusting. They're like... <sighs> she went on a date for two hours. Look at me. One drink. Look at me. Take me to dinner. Like... Why am I dying? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't try and get all this information out of me over one drink that you don't want to pay for. And mm -hmm. I'm looking this great. And... I don't know. I just can't with them. They just don't get it. I can't. I don't have time for them anymore. Boys, do better on dates. Do better. You know what? We should start giving reviews. We should start sending out, okay, so this is how you did, so that they get better. Because at the end uh -huh. of the day, they'd be doing bare minimum but wanting to be praised. Period. She calls men disgusting because she got dressed up and wanted him to pay for her drinks and spend money on her, but he didn't. Women seem to believe, because they spend money on themselves to dress nicely, a man must spend money on them. It's up to a man whether if he wants to spend money or not. You are a strong independent woman. Pay for your own drinks. Until a man offers to spend money on you, you deserve nothing. Pay with your own money. I feel like I'm going to regret the decision going back on the dating apps, but every time I go back on dating apps and I go on a few dates and I meet a few people and I'm in the talking stage with whoever, it always turns into a funny story. Like, yes, it never works out. Yes, I get disappointed. Yes, the 99% of guys who are on these dating apps are just looking for one thing. I'm setting myself up for failure. But I'm also setting myself up for funny stories, things that I can laugh about when I'm old and wrinkly and gray. Well, I don't ever want to be gray. Let's get that clear. But you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I've got, you know, a pool of funny stories and uh, it's just like stopped. Do you know what I mean? I, I need to add more to my life. I need to do it for the plot. So I'm back on the dating apps and I'm anticipating the disappointment, but I'm here for the drama. <laughs> So she's back to dating Chads and Tyrones because she wants excitement and drama in her life. Well congratulations for that one. We'll be looking forward to hear stories about how you are getting smashed and passed and crying because the guys you want don't want you. It's always the same. Just give me the iPad and I can... Stop! <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Why do you have a dinner? <laughs> Alright. Uh... uh, this woman is crazy. What's up with that crazy laugh? She had a mental illness. I've been told um, by my friends and um, even therapists that I should make a ten top 10 list of what I am looking for in my next partner hopefully my last partner. Um, and I have that list and it's very particular, which I have every right to be very particular. Although I've had friends tell me that I need to lower my standards, which is probably why I'm where I'm at because I have lowered my standards anyway. So I have a question though. Um, on my list, obviously the person has to be divorced and I have a time frame of how long a person needs to be divorced before I would uh, consider dating them. And I, I don't know what the right answer is. Not that there's a right answer, but, um, what do you think is a good amount of time for somebody to have been divorced before or before you would consider dating them? I know a lot of people jump right into relationships after a divorce and typically that's a rebound or, you know, you're out to have fun or Whatever that is, obviously, I'm not out to have fun. I'm not even dating right now, and I'm not ready to date right now. But when I'm ready to date, I'm not ready. I'm not going out to date to date. I'm going out for a relationship. I want a relationship. I love being in a relationship. It's my jam. Um, but um, I was just curious what you guys thought about the, the time frame. Anyway, that was it. If you've been divorced once... The chances of becoming divorced again, if you decide to get married again, is significantly higher than before. Why would you want to specifically date a divorced person? I don't know. She's an idiot.